Endured your game long enough.
again I experienced an odd sense of displacement as I was transported to the vampire ruin once more. But this chamber was different than the first. I had succeeded. The Reaver was forged with the power of light, and now my way was clear. I would seek out Ariel at the Pillars and see if she could enlighten me. Send me on my way.
as some arcane sorcery transported me away. This was the ancient ruin of a vampire civilization. Perhaps here I would finally decipher the riddle of my destiny. At last it was done. The Reaver was forged with darkness. As I felt this new power coursing within the Wraith Blade, I knew that now the Light Temple would open to me.
As the reaver absorbed the souls of the nature and conflict guardians, it was imbued with the elemental power of fire with which their principles were aligned. I was now equipped to reach the pillars. Peace. apparently aligned with the elemental power of air. These
As the Reaver absorbed the souls of the Mind and Dimension Guardians, it was imbued with the elemental power of air with which their principles were aligned. So...
these
A new area of the Vampire Citadel lay open. I still had much to discover.
This pool seemed related to the portals which had transported me into the vampire ruins, but its surface was disturbed by the spouting of these gargoyles. in the fountain. This door clearly required some artifact before it could open.
Once more, the Reaver absorbed the spirits of the former vampire guardians, and thus was imbued with the elemental power of water. Perhaps now I could enter that mysterious crypt at the end of the garden.
somewhere in As the Reaver absorbed the souls of the original Energy and Time Guardians, it was imbued with the elemental power of Earth with which their principles were aligned.
Has the hat The banner.
in my app.
known I'd find you here. Here and everywhere, now and always. I am the wheel and its turning. I am the circle of life and death. And I am beginning to think the vampires committed suicide only to escape your voice. Do not forego my favor with your impertinence, Razia. You have finally fulfilled your purpose. I am pleased. What are you trying to obliterate here, then? What is it about me that has you so afraid? <laughs> your fate is trivial, Raziel. It was Cain's destiny that mattered all along.
do you see? Strongly drawn, compelled even, not to linger here, but to go to the Vampire Citadel at once. I need
inevitable day. The wretched, stagnant soul will finally be mine. In the meantime, you'd best burrow deep. Now at last, the masks had fallen away. The strings of the puppets had become visible, and the hands of the Prime Mover exposed. Most ironic of all was the last gift that Raziel had given me. More powerful than the sword that now held his soul, more acute even than the vision his sacrifice had accorded me. The first bitter taste of that terrible illusion. Oh.